These are some of my wolf shirts. I've got probably over 50. This is my absolute favorite of them all, and it's got, it's one of my newer ones. It's got like the wolf and the moon, and it's the full body wolf, and it's purple. This is, I just love it, it's beautiful. 18 year old Matthew Schimmel lives in Brunswick, Georgia. That's my diploma from when I graduated high school, and they had actually put Wolfie on the side of it. This is really cool. This, when I turn it on, it will, it'll sound like a waterfall light up and the wolf will howl. It's getting there. So yeah, I've always loved this one. It is not just wolf memorabilia that sets Matthew apart from other teenagers. In a personal, integral, and non-physical level, I am a wolf. Um, it's, it's very spiritual for me. I believe I have the spirit of a wolf. Um, it's also very psychological. I behave like a wolf. I feel when I refer to myself, I am a wolf. Basically, other than the fact that I have a human body and human flesh, I am a wolf. I can't really give you a number of how many Therians are out there. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands in communities that I know about and that I'm a member of. Obviously, there's wolves. I'm a wolf. You know, cats, foxes, domestic cats, tigers, lions, flies. I've met, believe it or not, several insects. To myself, I see a black wolf on all fours walking. And that's how I want to be pictured a lot of times because that's what I am, you know. You see me as this person and I see myself as a wolf. Growing up and believing something that no one else could see meant that Matthew had a tough time at school. Day-to-day -day life at school was a living hell in every sense of the word. The only reason I survived was because of my very few close friends who I am still fiercely loyal to to this day. The same loyalty a wolf would have to his pack. I'm always at home, at home most of the time, and my mom's at home most of the time, so... One of those loyal friends from school is Jade. The first thing I noticed was the tail. It was the first thing I noticed about him. And then he, of course, he had a wolf shirt on. Jade is also a wolf, and instantly bonded with Matthew due to their similar beliefs. He was the one who actually brought up Therians. And at that time, I was still kind of new to the whole concept. Like, I knew that about, you know, me being a wolf, but I didn't know the, the technical term for it. We just hang out here, really. Yeah. It's a nice place to go. It's quiet. It's quiet. You can quieter. meditate here. No distractions from random people, you know. <laughs> it makes me feel more connected being here because this is where I'd kind of be, you know, in my natural environment. Where there's more spiders over there. It means a lot to me that, you know, he has included me in his pack and kind of taken me in. Cause it, it, like, for the longest time, it seemed like nobody was there. Awesome. Yeah. It's like I, don't, a, I don't normally get to do that. It's a huge release because yeah. you kind of have to bottle so much up inside when you're certain places, and you can just let it all out. Not only limited to America, People who identify with animals live all over the world. Ben and Kimberly live on a farm in West Sussex in the remote countryside of England. They are one of the handful of other kin couples who are married. Our relationship with our dog is definitely a, a, a pack relationship, mm. much like it is with any other dog, really. But I think in our case, it helps, helps a lot more that we're kind of a little bit uh, attuned to maybe the way he's thinking, he's yeah, maybe a little bit attuned to the way we're thinking. It's kind of like having a little version of us. Ben and Kimberly feel that they share their bodies with the spirit of a wolf. This is um, the drawing of um, Ben and myself that, uh, that um, my friend Lana did. 
which as you can tell is just absolutely beautiful. It's so nice to have a proper representation like that I can say to people okay this is what we look like. Ben on the bottom there with the blue eyes. I'm the sort of ambery eyed wolf with the horns. For my 21st birthday I got a tattoo. Just sort of like a weird sort of silhouette of my wolf side. I love it it's just very me and I'll never regret it because it's my soul basically inked on my leg. Ben and Kimberly have been together for eight years and married for two. The second I saw him I was just completely attracted to him more than I had had been ever attracted to anyone. It was pretty much instantaneous you know I just felt really drawn to him and I made it my kind of mission to find out who this guy was and who his friends were and I kind of maybe even stalked him a tiny bit by finding out who his friends were and things like that so you know a little bit creepy but you know it worked out well for me in the end. There was just something about her that seemed right to me on a, on a subconscious level at the time and when we were together we just, we just clicked. Oh, I need your help. All other Canontherians have one thing that bonds them together it's the very moment they realize they are an animal. This is a process called awakening. Well, it came upon me around the age of 15, and as you can imagine, puberty being a difficult time for any teenager, and then you're having almost a whole nother puberty happen at the same time, and it's a frightening experience, you know, lots of new sensations and feelings that you're having to deal with. Kimberly discovered this as a teenager. However, for Ben, the catalyst for his awakening was meeting her. She shared her experiences with me. She listened to me more than anything, which was amazing to have someone to talk to that didn't look at you like you were a complete weirdo. And she was just, just there for me, really. I've been very fortunate to have someone with me at all times throughout it. Ben and Kimberly's wolf sides rarely appear. However, they often come out in the bedroom. As teenagers are, you know, we started dating and were very, like, eager, enthusiastic. enthusiastic, and, like, the first couple of times we walked away with a couple of battle wounds just sort of covered in bite and claw, so like, very, really... Very intense. Very intense, and A little yeah. bit scary yeah. at, at times. I think it's because neither one of us had ever been with another wolf, and I think it just... the it brought it out in each yeah, other. Primal instincts take over, and before you know it, you're clawing and biting your other half to to pieces and wondering why the both of you are enjoying it so yeah. much. It's only afterwards when you step back and you think, Whoa, yeah. what have we done? Yeah. You know, it all, it all makes sense now. Mm. For both of them, they see their wolf side as a separate creature. Their wolves have their own names, personalities, and feelings. Kimberly has named her wolf side Luna. Unlike others, she has the ability to change into her animal side and let Luna talk for herself. I normally don't let her speak because she has a bit of a mind of her own. All right, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, I don't get lit out very often. <laughs> I tend to have a bad habit of... Uh running my mouth a bit and saying things I shouldn't do so I tend to be kept a bit quiet and caged is one way I tend to put it um, by, I do t by Kim by Kim yeah I, I kind of give her a bit of hell sometimes because she doesn't let me out as much as I should be lit out unfortunately she has main control over this body I've got control over the dreams so she doesn't really have a choice about what I do there we've definitely lived quite a few lives together and we've lived lives on the other place as well as here I don't know what, at what point our souls became one, but I feel that it has always been that way, and it's probably that way for a reason, so perhaps there's something we need to achieve or we need to accomplish. Ben and Kimberly fully accept that they have the spirit of a wolf within them. However, for Ben's mom, Sue, she is only beginning to understand her son's animal side. I'm not saying all of my friends, but a lot of my cattle friends would think that completely bizarre and they wouldn't even look any further than you know that the pair of them would need help 